Have you had motors and VFDs fail before they should have? Do you have problems with electronics failing? You probably have some form of power quality issue. Power quality is the ability to supply clean and stable power. Perfect power is pure sinusoidal wave. It's always within its voltage range and tolerances. My first experience with power quality was every time they turned on a welder in this manufacturing facility, the metal etching machine would go crazy. Um, we solved it by just improving the grounding for the building, which actually was cheaper than the defects that they had from the, from the metal etching machine um, over a week. Um, voltage losses, voltage disturbances, voltage waveform quality make up the, the idea of power quality. Finding the items that are causing problems in your system are the next step to improve your building's operations. The power triangle represents improving power quality to save you money. The utilities charge you for KWH, and they also have an adjustment in there for reactive power or KVARs. Um, as you improve your power factor, you're going to save money in your KVARs. So I bring up this example of beer. Would you rather have a big glass filled with foam, or would you like to have it filled with beer? For me, I'd rather have more beer than foam, so I'm gonna try and improve my power quality to lower my KVARs so I can have more beer. Power quality greatly improves the operation of a building. Power quality issues have been long frustrating issues for building operations and are hard to figure out what the real problems are in a building. They're not always obvious, and uh, they take some exploring to figure out what might be causing these issues. Um, surges, spikes, and noise can cause equipment downtime, causing devices not to work optimally or correctly. Um, maybe you have some equipment that just shuts down for no reason. This could easily be from power quality issues. Have you had motors burn up, drives fail after operating for only a short time? Maybe you have electronics that are malfunctioning and have to be replaced often. Do you not get the life out expectancy you'd expect from your equipment? These are all signs of power quality issues. It is important because you want to get your performance that you've paid for out of your equipment. Poor power quality will cause your building to perform less efficient. Reducing power quality causes your utility bills to be larger than they should be. There are many components that make up power quality. Um, they make instruments like shown here that can record um, lots of different aspects of the power um, to analyze, um, but it takes a lot of information to dig through to find out exactly what's going on in your building and what needs to be improved and how to go about that. Um, grounding is probably the easiest and simplest way to improve your power quality. Um, without good grounding, you're never gonna have good power quality in a building um, and you're gonna have lots of issues. Um, our, my example here is some bad grounding installation um, that could easily have been fixed up at a cheap cost. Um, improving on balance loads is another way to um, cheaply and easily fix issues that you might be having. Um, this happens when people just add loads to panels and don't analyze them and fix them um, to balance them out. Um, and all it takes is moving around some circuits to fix that. Installing a voltage stabilization devices um, help you to increase your power quality. Um, the largest ones that people use are filters, but they have some better devices out there that'll actually clean your power for you. Um, reducing equipment downtime allows you for better operations and improving your power factor will lower your utility costs, reduce noise in your systems, and give you overall savings. Improved power quality equipment will operate better, allowing for high performance buildings to stay performing at high performance building. Poor power quality will cause your equipment to operate less efficiently. Reducing equipment downtime allows for better operations. Losing a key piece of equipment can cause a loss of income or expensive repairs. Um, but it's no fun to have to explain to a client why their space is uncomfortable for them. As we move into LEDs and other lights that use electronics, power quality is going to affect the operations and longevities of the lights. Harmonics will cause the lights to flicker, they reduce the life of the ballast, um, and they will also cause lighting controls to have issues. So we need to make sure we clean that up. 
Um, electronics are very vulnerable to harmonics. They're also the biggest cause for harmonics on a system. Poor power quality can cause glitches, failures in electronics. It can cause your electronics to fail out faster than they're supposed to. Um, it's probably the biggest reason you can't figure out something because of these glitches. Power quality is very important to the operation of buildings. It can cause issues that are noticed, but it also causes lots of issues that are unnoticed. Improving your power quality can save money, reduce equipment failure, and help your building continue to perform efficiently. Uh, power quality is a very complex subject. We can help you find solutions. Feel free to reach out to me afterwards. Thank you.